Hello everybody, we are back in the verse, heading towards the expo center for day 5. This is Crusader Day. I haven't really done any floor videos, but this is going to be the first one for Crusader. Got a couple people on the train here, all excited. You excited? Yes. We're heading to see a manufacturer that I really like. Part of what I really like about Crusader uh, Industries is their base that I'm very excited about, the gas giant. Uh, they're going to have Orson, which is like a floating city. I think uh, the floating cloud city in Star Wars. We're going to have a landing pads and hospital and habs and everything there. And it'll be a new, the newest city to, to explore. So I'm going to head up to check out what they have to offer. They have a, a, a different design than a lot of the other ships, more of a clean design. And for large ships, they tend to fly really well. They tend to, to handle like a, a much smaller ship for, for what they are. Uh, in some cases at the expense of fuel, but still. I'm going to go into there. I could join them. I'm going to go into this elevator here. Oh, it's opening already. Perfect. So off we go to Crusader Hall. This is going to be exciting, I think. Very good, very exciting. I'm assuming they're going to have the Hercules, uh, maybe the, the Nova tanks as the main focus. Uh, I wonder if they'll have the, the Star Runner. I haven't haven't actually looked. Oh, the guy's not there. Uh, I haven't actually looked to see what is on the show floors. I figured I'd be kind of excited, but uh, Hello and we're going to head up here. Uh, I remember my very first uh, big ship I saw coming up these steps at the last Aerospace Expo was the Reclaimer, which was massive. These are huge. Uh, these are the uh, the Hercules. I wasn't expecting the middle one. Um, so this looks like this one here is the M2, the, the military version, I think. Maybe. And then this one is the C2. Is that the difference between the two? And then the back one looks like it might be the, the bomber. Uh, A something? A2? Is that right? So which one is this? This is the C2. I'm going to rent this. I haven't seen the interior of any of these yet, but I do like them, how they work. So how they work is they can... Uh, how do I... Oh, there's a panel. So they open... Oh, it opens up like a, like a clamshell. I'm going to take a look inside. So they open up front and back. So as as opposed to most ships with a ramp where you go in and back out or back in and drive out. This one you could load in from the rear or back into a large hangar area. <gasps> Look at how big this is. A massive area here. Drive in and then drive straight out the back. I, I like the uh Yeah. I like the uh the design of this, how this closes pulling up the ramp. And then these clamshells pull in to to tuck away. Nice little animation there. Look at the like the little connectors going. Oh, that drops down. Okay, that is pretty neat. You could technically jam a little bit more in here because it extends out the front. So when you park right up to here, say the the tank, the the Nova tank, the uh, point can be there, or the uh, the nose of a larger ship. Look at how much space. This is basically a hangar. You're buying a hangar that you can fly around. So you'll be able to load up with your friends and all your equipment, get everything you need in here to move on to somewhere else, and then fly to a new system. Oh, this is more traditional. So this is kind of like how the front of the uh, the Carrick is, where it just drops down as a, as a single ramp that drops down and pulls you in. Yes, so this is huge. Now, I know they've changed lighting in here, although I don't see lights. I don't know how to change the lights here, but there are light switches that can change the different modes of lighting. Got a ladder up, so this must be elevator, yes. Let's check out this elevator. Oh, so this is another way to exit the ship. You can exit by dropping down, uh, which is nice. The uh, other creator, Crusader ship right now, the Mercury Star Runner, the MSR, you can only um, 
you can only exit and enter through the ramp. Uh, but they are looking at changing that to adding a secondary secondary exit and entrance using some sort of elevator or something like that. Physicalized components. So these are, are just starting now where uh, you'll be able to grab the things. The things we saw outside, uh, I'll go look at those later. Physical places where you can pick up using maybe the tractor beam or the smaller ones you can carry by hand. Putting components, like swapping them out. Uh, storage unit, that's kind of neat. So you can have extra storage in here. So, so far, fairly, very simple ship to, ship to find your way around. We've got just uh, an open central area here. Little stairways. It looks like staring into a sun, so that's kind of like a... That must be the engine. Oh, look at this! Whoa, that is neat. Oh, I love how that looks. I wonder if how it looks while it's flying, if these are spinning faster. Various little things here. You can open up what's these components. I wish I could remember what each component looked like. But these would be like also we got like coolers, we got power, we've got like the the jump drives, the quantum drives I should say, all the different physical components. And now these ones definitely are ones that you would not be picking up and carrying on your own. Uh, I don't know if you're gonna need the multi-tool tractor beam or if there's gonna be some other way to do that. Recreation, right, so this is the C2, which is like the civilian version. So we got like a table here, a little bookshelf, a um, little fridge for food, a little kitchenette. You can see this is very much like a, like a restaurant. We got our tongs and some glasses. Uh, and then a place to sit. Watch uh, my YouTube channel. You can uh, sit here, like and subscribe, uh, see more videos coming out right here from the comfort of your ship. Maybe some more uh, storage will be happening in there. So that's the, uh, the little recreation area. So on the other side must be sleeping. Yeah, habitation, okay. I do like the Crusader ships also label their doors, make it a little bit easier. So these should be like storage lockers, kind of like how the, uh, yeah, like how the, um, the Nomad has little storage lockers in there. Same kind of deal. These are bathrooms, if it's like the, I'm assuming one on each side, yeah, so that if you and your friend are both having to go at the same time, you can leave the doors open and continue your chat, I suppose, with your little RV-sized bathroom here. Nice. How many beds? Two? Two beds. So, you know, kind of a nice thing. So, sensors on doors are kind of a little bit weird right now, but how they work right now is you can set them to, to have to be open and closed manually or you can set them as a uh, uh, where they're they're locked still haven't seen the light switches maybe they're over by the elevator is that over here hmm really don't know what happened to the light switches I knew there's light switches in here there should be and we'll head to this would be I'm assuming the front of the ship very easy ship to find your way around what's this more components, more physicalized components in here. More there, more there. And we'll get to the bridge. Nope, not quite. Uh, like an armor locker, gun lockers, lots of storage here. Here's a bridge. Simple bridge, two seats. Uh, similar to the MSR, but the seats are facing forwards. But you get in them, you should just slide right up into place. Not a a great view, but considering the size of the ship, that's pretty impressive. Let's take an outside look at the ship. Nice design here. Um, yeah, and I, these little winglets on the side, I've seen fold down uh, when you're uh, flying. And there's uh, the Nova tanks. I was so excited to see the Hercules. I never even bothered to, to notice them. But if you look at the people walking around, the size of this ship is pretty amazing. So when I take this for a ride, we're going to see how this ship uh, handles for a ship that is basically a large building. Not bad. Yeah, so we're going to take a quick look at the difference between this and the M2, the military variant. So we're going to go out. Let's try the elevator all the way down. Come on, open. Let me out. There you go. And then we'll head over to the M2. All elevator. There you go. Let 
nice fast elevator. I think, yeah, so it's got a glass door there. I'm pretty sure when I got in it had a, a metal door, a metal grate in the cargo. So just a little change. Yeah, see like a metal grate there. It's a nice little change for depending on what area of the uh, ship you're in. Something more industrial and something more livable. So that is the C2. So these are some of the, well these are weapons. Um, I thought there was physical components. Oh, there they are. So these are some of the components that will be able to be swapped in and out of a ship. Right now you can do this, but not physically. You just use your uh, use your loadout manager, and you're just kind of switching things based on the ships you have in here. Uh, but right now, you can just see them here, but eventually you're going to be able to take these, maybe take them off other ships or wrecks that you find, swap them out between. Pretty interesting. So, actually, let's check out. So this is... I was not actually expect. I was kind of thinking they might have this here, but I didn't think it was really done yet. Um, looking at the uh, the bomber variant coming up. So we're gonna go over to look at the uh, the A2. How do we? How do we get into the A2? Ramp access. Oh, you know what? I think, yeah. So, you can't go into the A2 yet. That makes more sense. Oh, they've taken out the inside. So yeah, so this is the, the bomber variant, which, which, I, which no one has really seen yet. They're still developing. So I was really excited thinking I might be able to check inside, but they've kind of just given you the outside to look at the slight different variant. You can see slight changes to to what's in here. So as opposed to the other ones that have these large see-through, drive-through hangars, this one is strictly bombing, uh, so the interior is going to be entirely different, so it hasn't really been worked on yet. These are the Nova tanks. Um, so let's rent one of these. Uh, these are two of these can fit into a C2 or an M2. Um, how do I open this? sure there's a way to open this. Um, I'll have to find it later. That's too bad. Uh, let's go over to see the difference. So, uh, we'll open the back ramp on this one. Where was it? Was it over here? Maybe it's at the front. Maybe you can only open the front ramp right now. Ramp access. And we'll check out what's here. Well, I ran right into a wall. So much because I just can't get over how big these ships are. Whoa, I'm going to crush myself to death. There we go. I just can't get over. So let's see. Pretty much the same size. Massive. Look at all the space you have in here. All the room for activities. woo hoo hoo hoo, -hoo. Yes. All right. We're going to head. I'm going to take the ladder this time. Let's go up top. Oh, a little bit of a went right through a hatch there. Okay, looks pretty much the same. Um, yeah, so the military variant, auxiliary crew. So that's the big difference. Before it was hab on this side. Jump seats, uh, twelve jump seats. Uh, armor lockers, suits and weapons. Okay. Oh, wasn't fast enough. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, th so instead of having like the table and the the little fridge and everything, we have we have lockers and armor and weapons. So this is more troop tra troop transport plus the tanks for the crew in there. More storage. Uh, three beds as opposed to two beds on this side so looking at a slightly larger crew and more of like an op center so all right I really need to focus on finding those light switches how come I can't find any well if someone else knows where they are maybe they can let me know 
how many times, put in a time code exactly how many times I've passed the light switch I'm looking for. Unless they're built into the door switches. No, they're not. All right. Never find them. So let's head to the, the fridge. Deck, fridge. We can see both. More physical components here. Very easy to find your way around, as opposed to like the uh, the Gemini, which I remember getting lost on. Three crew beds, three chairs. You could do a rotating crew, so you'd have what's this. You could have two people, three people in the deck, and the others are sleeping. But other than that, so I'm assuming this one here is like scanning or maybe turret manning. This is co-pilot and pilot. Interesting. So we'll go check out what else is here. So this will be part one of a video. I'm going to have video part one looking at things that are on the floors here. And then part two, I'll, uh, I'll take some ships including this and the, the Nova tank. I'll show you how to, to load a Nova tank into here and then take that for a test drive as well. Uh, also, I'll maybe take a, one of the Star Runners. I'm assuming the Star Runners will be here. Grab one of those, take that out. Uh, overall, one of my favorite ships. Um, looks great, flies amazing, holds a lot. Great for, for mining with a rock with, with a couple friends. Uh, really awesome. All right, so head to the front and we'll see we're gonna go down I'm gonna try to keep this video uh, if possible under under half hour and then uh, I'll make the second one of the the actual flying so let's go look real quick what is here I never never looked I should have looked before save myself a little bit of running time so what do we have here we've got the freelancer miss the razor the red lines kind of a neat one and this Gemini, the one that I will get lost in, so I'm not really going to worry about that. Tumbril, I'll grab one of those, and we have some Star Runners. Okay, um, what's down stop? Down is the Nova Tank, and the Star uh, the Starfighter. Oh, well, let's do that real quick. So, down here, you can see a little bit of information about this manufacturer. So I'm not sure when we get new star systems if they're going to have new manufacturers moving to other planets. I know I think Pyro's the next one. So Nova Tank. More history. I think that's the same as what it was the other day. What was this? Starfighter they said? Oh no, this is the uh, Tumbrel, what's this called? Tumbrel Ranger, which is like a uh, high-speed interdiction motorcycle so that's in hollow there you can take a look at that in development and then over on this side maybe what I'll do is I'll start like editing as I'm running around so you don't have to see just me running this is a pretty big ship where is it is it small with massive weapons Starfighter Inferno. Something I know almost nothing about, but uh, just a, a strictly fighting ship, maybe a light or medium uh, fighter. Then we have the, the little buggies, the cyclones. So you can rent one of those for driving around later. Oh, wrong button. I don't really care which one because I'm not going to be using it for fighting. I just wanted to kind of drive. I like they're pretty fun. They're slightly different as far as speeds for a couple of the models, I think. But overall, renting one to get a feel for it will help you with the other ones. Uh, but feel free to rent them all. I mean, why not? It doesn't cost anything. Uh, I think this way was the the Reliant. So we'll go look at that. The Reliant's kind of a neat ship. Uh, starts out in a horizontal position, but when you are flying it, you can put it into a a vertical orientation so instead of guns left and right the guns will rotate up and down uh, making yourself like a long narrow bladed ship kind of an interesting design I think they're over here did they go the wrong way? no, we're good 
Yeah, so they're... Okay, so this is one of the freelancers. Uh, if you've ever flown the uh, the Prospector, you can see very similar design. The freelancers uh, ha and the Prospector share manufacture and share kind of a front-end design. Freelancers are all very similar, but with different... Oh, I didn't mean to rent it, but I'll rent it anyways. Uh, with different purposes. So we could have something like uh, one for military, which is like this one. One for exploration, which is the Dur, uh, the base freelancer, which is just a trading, the freelancer max, which is trading with a larger cargo space. So the big difference is you got uh, just different divisions and sizes of cargo. So they all have a turret in the back here. They all have the same kind of uh, front area. And just before that, if you come in from the side, uh, the side door here, you'll come into like a little hab area. So you got like your like bathroom, beds, bunks, and then your your bridge is basically the same in all of them, uh, but just slight variations. But where it all changes is when you get back into this end. How many divisions there are, the cargo space you can see for smaller cargo down here, uh, whether there's more space for vehicles here. The Gemini, I will not go really into too much. Um, it's more of a repair, refueling, support vehicle. Um, also very convoluted, trying to get around. Um, I tend to get lost in the Gemini, so that's why I'm not going to be heading inside there. But feel free to expand uh, to... Actually, maybe I'll go... I'll stand in the ramp axis and show you kind of what it looks like. So, so how Gemini works is you go into another area we can have support vehicles in here fairly nice spacious place here but then you have a door here you have a door here you can see there's a ladder going up here there's some railings here for different catwalks and you just start getting lost at least i do uh some people probably know the ship well they've spent a lot of time in it uh it's a nice ship it's just too much for what i need and not enough of what i'm looking for if that makes sense so a ship that like, there's a ship for everyone. I mean, I'm also not a, a big fan of, of the fighter ships. So the new Scorpius came out. looks awesome, but there's no way that I'm really going to spend any money to get that ship. Uh, In-game, I could earn money and get towards it, but uh, same with the, the Reliance kind of a neat ship. I love the, the visuals. If you're sitting in this cockpit here and looking out, you can see pretty much anything. And I like how it's so different than everything else. Like, so these wings on either side will rotate, so one above, one below. So pretty amazing, uh, but I'm more of a mining and trading. That's more what I like. And I like the just like the big, kind of graceful ships or the big brutal ships like the uh, the Caterpillar, which is coming near the end uh, after Invictus. There's going to be the uh, the Drake days. The Caterpillar is just a big giant cargo hauling ship, but a ship that I actually like quite a bit. So I would suggest te uh, checking that out. Uh, and they're making improvements on all the ships, so the Caterpillar has some uh, features like modularity and I th believe the lifts are going to be implemented, hopefully soon. But if not, uh, as, a sh as a ship itself right now. Also a ship you can quite easily get lost in, but I've spent enough time in there that I feel pretty comfortable in it. And then, these are, so, I thought there was two, there's only one here I see. So this is the Star Runner, the MSR, kind of an asymmetrical design. Those are the tumbrils. Uh, you saw them down below, but there's a couple more up here. So here's the MSR. Probably one of the, the my favorite ships as far as the size and how it, it flies. It flies really well. There's two of them? It's not two models, so they're just two ships. So as you can see, uh, large ramp axis. Uh, not quite as big as some of the other ones. Definitely not as big as the, the Ursa Rover, but, but this ship here enough room to put a lot of different vehicles in here. Here's a light switch. This is what I was looking for before. Now this one just has lights on, lights off. But uh, the other one was supposed to have different lighting features. The neat thing about this too, it's got like an engineering section. So in here, more physicalized components by opening up these here. You have a lift to get into the other area, but I just tend to jump and then come through this way. This one's designed for data running and scanning. So we have servers here for information. We have a scanner here. So we go to the scanner and this will operate the scanning dish that's up top. Uh, we go here we have turrets. So we have a turret that goes down to the bottom of the ship and a turret that goes up to the top of the ship. 
So if you have other crew, this is a pretty devastating fighter for a multi-crew because of all the, the turrets it has on there and all the coverage. Heading towards the bridge area, kind of incorrect because it's a bridge, but then when we get here, it's not actually the bridge. The bridge is the next one. Turn this on. But we're gonna get to recreation first. So this is like a food place. Hello? Um, we got some food here and we got like some places to sit, got a little chessboard. You can see the, the Millennium Falcon uh, inspiration through all of this. And then on this side we have Habs and the Habs is very similar to what we just saw in the C2. All the lights are off. So in the in the the other ship we have the the bathrooms. We have a storage closet on this side. Are, are they both? No, they're both bathrooms. So bathroom, bathroom, and then we have a couple beds, um, and then we're gonna head to the bridge. And the bridge, the big difference is the seating. So how the seating works in this is. Um, they're facing towards you until you get in. So sit down in the seat and it will pull you up and bring you in. And you can, you can see a lot better view than the Hercules to look around. Uh, you got a nice wide field of view. Plus right in front of the steering column here, uh, you can't really tell with that a small window which helps with landing. If we get out here you can look at this you can see the radar dish on the one side, kind of the asymmetrical design of this. Uh, the big change that's going to be happening to this ship is adding um, adding a, another entrance, a second entrance, so not just the ramp. The big thing I haven't shown of the ship is that this ship is designed also uh, taking inspiration from Millennium Falcon as a smuggling ship. So what you do in this ship is you can take cargo that's put into a shielded area and that shielded area should protect you from scans for when you're stopped uh, by forces if you're carrying cargo that you don't need and to access that oh someone's taking the elevator uh, to access that there's a number of ways a uh, number of secret doors uh, for instance this door here will get you to the cargo area and if I close this up we're now hidden. I can turn lights on to see. So this is one of the cargo areas here. So when you're buying cargo, you can have, I think, six SU here, plus all the undercarriage of the ship has space to move around and different, uh, different doors. So you can actually come up. This is a server room. I'm going to be all lost. You can actually come up to the, uh, the chess table you saw there's a way using the the queen moving the queen around to a different location will open it from above you can drop down these tunnels from there into the server room into a hallway so recreation so this one should open up to the the chess table if I can figure out how to jump Oh, this person's trying to jump on me. Okay. Why can't I get up? There we go. So, as you can see, here is the uh, the chest table slid open, and there's the entrance in. So this is the, the MSR. So I think these are all the ships that I wanted to rent. So I'm going to cut here, and I'll come back again. Maybe a, a, the second video will just be testing out the C2. I'll take the uh, the Star Runner for a flight as well, and uh, and the the Nova Tank. I'll show you how to where to get the Nova Tank, how to get it into your ship, and how to fly it around. Oh, and I got turned around. I'm gonna head back out of here, and uh, head to the hangar. So I'm gonna cut here, and I will see you in the next video. Enjoy Invictus, enjoy the free fly event. Don't forget to look at the links below if you want to sign up using my referral code. You'll get some extra UEC and you'll get to play at least for a couple more days. Uh, and as well as check out uh, my video on the game patches that are currently available and uh, which one I recommend to get into Star Citizen. It's, uh, it's a pretty good deal for what they have right now. Uh, you don't need to buy any of these big ships to be playing the game. You can earn these in-game. Uh, it's not that hard to make money. I'm going to be making a series on how to make money to in order to get these ships. 
like this one. But right now, I've got it. That's mine for now. All right, that is it. I hope to see you soon in the verse. Thank you.